In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a basketball edit all in Adobe Photoshop. All right, so the first step is going to be finding the right images. This process is probably the most boring one since you have to go through hundreds to find the right ones. Some of the websites I use to find free stock images are Pexels and Unsplash. They have great quality. All right, once you've found the right images, lay them out. You can lower the opacity to see everything better. You can click Ctrl T to move the images around. Then the fun part, cutting things out. For the basketball player, I'm going to use a cool technique called color range. I'll link the tutorial on this technique in the description below. To soften up the edges, I will paint over it with a black brush. Hold Ctrl or Command and then click on the layer so that the paint doesn't go out of the lines. For the basketball hoop, I will use the polygon lasso tool to select all the straight easy parts. And then with a brush, I will mask out the rest. Oof. Not fun, but so you don't have to go through that, I've made a folder and I've linked it in the description below with all the images and I've also included the cropped out version of this basketball hoop. Now matching. For this, all we have to do is make the basketball hoop a silhouette. We do this by adding a black solid color adjustment and clipping it to the hoop layer. Finally, one of the funnest steps, making the glowing ball. What you want to do first is make a circle selection with the marquee tool by holding down shift and dragging. I'm trying to touch the states this time, 2021. Yeah, show them I can still rap though. Then add a solid color with the hex code F78859 and clip it to the bottom layer. Then duplicate the layer and change the blending mode to linear dodge add. And clip it as well. Now duplicate that layer. Click on the mask and invert it by clicking Ctrl or Command I. Finally, paint some of it back with a soft brush. Make sure you don't clip this one so the glow goes over the ball. And finally, the funnest part, color grading it. Go to Filter and Camera Raw Filter. I don't like the green and orangey vibe of the current image, so we're gonna change it. I'm adding blue and pink temperature to counter the green and yellow. I'm doing some other minor adjustments.
and finally adding some purple and blue to the shadows and some slight yellow to the highlights. Now I've noticed that it's too vibrant so I lowered the saturation a bit with the hue and saturation adjustment layer. Finally, just add your signature and you're done.